Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video I want to give you a quick overview of Google Analytics. Learning to use Google Analytics is your first step in understanding analytics and obviously analytics is one of the most important parts of digital marketing. Analytics is also one of the biggest advantages of digital marketing because you do not get analytics when you are doing traditional marketing. For example, if you are running a TV ad, you have no idea how many people who have actually looked at your ad. If you are running an ad in a newspaper, you have no idea of how many people who have actually read your ad. But online, you will be able to track different uh, uh, things like time spent on the site, how many people clicked on your ad, how many people engaged with it and all these things. So analytics is really beautiful and that's what makes digital marketing very efficient by tracking the results. So in the previous lesson, I showed you how to install Google Analytics on your website. I hope you have installed it and I hope you have started getting your first few visitors to your website. So here I am inside one of my analytics accounts and this is an account just for an experimental blog that I set up and it has not received much traffic, but this should be more than enough to explain what analytics is all about and what are the most important features inside analytics. So I will show you some of the features that I use frequently inside Google Analytics. So as soon as you log in into Google Analytics, what you see is audience and overview. So here you will see something called sessions. So for example, uh, if you look at this particular date, you can see that Monday, December 7th, one of my websites, which uh, we are reviewing here has got 109 sessions. So what is a session? 109 sessions does not mean it is 109 visitors. Uh, visitors or users is a little bit less so you can see in the past uh, 30 days which is uh, November 19th through December 19th you can see there has been uh, 100, uh, 1182 sessions but only 1168 visitors right uh, that's because sessions is calculated as one visitor unique visitor from a unique IP address and computer in a 30 minute period so if I visit a website and I visit the website again after 30 minutes, it is counted as two sessions. But users are calculated once in every 24 hours, which means that if I visit a website and visit it even after one hour, I am still counted as one user. So this is the major difference between sessions and page views, which you should understand as soon as you start learning Google Analytics. And also we have something called page views. Page views means every time a page is viewed, it's called a page view. So whenever I go into a site and I visit three pages on the site, which means that I have generated three page views. So page views is usually uh, more than sessions and you can see that pages per session is 1.19, right? So basically if you multiply 1182 into uh, 1 1.19, uh, you get 1407 visitors. That's the number of page views. So pages divided by page views divided by number of sessions is what you get as pages per session and you see average session duration is the average amount of time that people have spent on your website and then you have something called bounce rate bounce rate is 90.52 percent which means that 90.52 percent of the people who visit the site visit only one page and they do not go into further pages so for my site digital deepak this bounce rate is little bit less it's around 60 to 70 percent which means that the website has more engagement when people come to my site they visit more than one page but for this particular website uh, in question people who come to the site 90 percent of the people do not go to any other page on the site also when you look at percentage new sessions you can see 89 percent of the people who have visited my site in the past 30 days are new sessions they are not people who have visited earlier and you can see the same 89.85 percent appear here which is basically uh, new visitors and 10.2 percent is returning visitors so this is what you see on the home page and these are the basic stuff that you need to understand and here you will have segments uh, if you need to add a separate segment for example if you need to calculate what is the amount of direct traffic you just put a tick mark here and you click on apply and then you will see start uh, start seeing the direct traffic versus all sessions comparison on this uh, page so you can see direct sessions has been very less for this site it's around uh, for example december 18th direct traffic has been five sessions and all sessions has been 21 sessions 
So that's it uh, as for a basic overview. Google Analytics is a very uh, deep software. It has lots and lots of options. So we cannot definitely cover it in one day, but this is just to give you an introduction because in the previous lesson you have installed Google Analytics, right? So I will show you some of uh, the other features as well. So when you uh, go into demographics, so let us remove this first. All right, so when you go into demographics, you will be able to see an overview. So right now demographics is not enabled uh, for this account. You have to click on enable before you can actually start seeing demographics for your account. So right now you can see that I have enabled demographics and once it is enabled after 24 hours, I will be able to see the age and gender of the people. So Google collects this data based on the profiles on Google Plus. So recently I published an article about uh, how you can uh, find more demographic data of your users using Facebook. So Facebook is also giving you a lot of analytics. So here you can see uh, this particular article you can read to learn more how to get deeper insights on your uh, uh, visitors. So I use Google Analytics and I use uh, Facebook alternatively. So here you can see inside Facebook audience insights, you will be able to see where your visitors are coming from and uh, uh, what is the uh, male female distribution and what is the age distribution of your visitors. So these numbers are a little bit more accurate on Facebook than on Google. All right. So uh, again, you can see interests overview. Again, this uh, comes under demographics. So right now we don't have any data here. Then we have uh, geographic locations. So now we can start seeing the geography uh, distribution of where our visitors are coming from. You can see that most of the visitors are from India, 594 sessions. You will be able to see the percentage of visitors who are coming from India as well. And once you click on India, you will be able to see what is the distribution inside India. So here you can see this particular website is targeted at Tamil Nadu. And here you can see most of the visitors have come from Tamil Nadu. So here you will be able to see some interesting insights. And again, you will be able to get a uh, number of new sessions, number of uh, new users, pages per session and all such details for each and every uh, subcategory, right? And then you uh, look at behavior. We have new versus returning uh, people which are, we have already seen on the home page we can see the percentage of new versus returning visitors and we can see individual analytics of each of these visitors right so you can see returning visitors are more familiar with the site they see more pages on average so here you can see the uh, bounce rate is marginally less and obviously the page views is high time spent on the site is high who come back to the site so then you have frequency and reach metrics as well uh, this is how, uh, what is the frequency of visitors and what is the reach of visitors. So uh, if you browse around and uh, uh, you know just see all the options that are available, you should be able to make sense of it. So here you can see engagement. Uh, most of the visitors are spending less than 10 seconds on the site. And then there are some users who spend more seconds. So this is just an experimental website, right? So these statistics are much different for my own blog. I get a lot of visitors who spend a lot of time on the site. Then you can also see the browser and OS of your uh, users. So this helps you uh, design your website accordingly. So most of the WordPress blogs load well on all the browsers. So you can see Chrome is the number one browser. Then we have Firefox, then we have UC browser. And then of course, Internet Explorer is all the way at the seventh position. I still wonder why people use Internet Explorer. And um, Network, so here you can see what is the network. So uh, broadband, uh, BSNL, Vodafone, Opera, Google. So here we don't have very accurate data. So Bharti Internet, uh, Bharti Telnet is Airtel here. And then I don't know what this is, but you get some data about it. Then you can see uh, overview of mobile device category. What is the distribution of people visiting from desktop, mobile and tablet? And then you have distribution of devices as well. Uh, so what are all the devices that people use? So a lot of people use Google Nexus 5, then it's Apple iPhone, then it's Motorola. So here you can see it is not set. So analytics is not able to determine what device they are using. You can see Apple iPad and you can see all the top devices that people use. Uh, this will be interesting once you start getting a lot of visitors, you will be able to see uh, what devices your users are using. So this is all we have in the audience tab. Uh, I will quickly show you inside real time. So real time shows you how many visitors are on your website real time. So this website is salem.in. 
and if I go to salem.in you will be able to see that uh, the count will go up here so he so you just saw that right so I went to salem.in homepage and you can see I, I am the only visitor on the site right now so if at all I click a particular page and go inside it and now I can see that uh, again this is one visitor and uh, this is from Bangalore so that's where I am doing uh, visiting it and this is the page that I am visiting right now so this is the top active pages so this is an excellent tool so if you are doing some promotion and if you are expecting a lot of visitors in a short time you can see which areas of your site are popular right now then I will quickly go over acquisition tab so inside acquisition you will be able to see where I am acquiring the users from you will be able to see the distribution so here you can see it is around 37% referral traffic 34% uh, uh, organic traffic then we have direct traffic and then we have uh, traffic from social also this is not 100% accurate because sometimes you end up getting traffic from social websites such as Facebook and it gets marked as direct traffic so uh, that happens so referral organic direct social this is the uh, distribution then if you go inside channels you will be able to see a uh, little bit more information like if you want to see organic traffic more in-depth uh, look so this is the number of organic visitors I am getting to the site every day uh, around 12 visitors uh, to 20 visitors every day and here you will be able to see what are all the keywords that people are using of course Google does not show you most of the keywords that people use so here you can see 73 percent of the uh, people who have used keywords uh, Google is not showing it to us and then you can see tree maps so for this you need to link your adverts and uh, 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 analytics account so this is something um, we will go into deeper when we understand analytics in a deeper way uh, this will come in the analytics module in the future then you have source and medium so here you can see uh, Google organic is the source and if you look at referral traffic you will be able to see where the referral traffic is coming from and again if you just go inside Google and uh, Google slash organic of course here you will be able to mention a uh, secondary dimensions uh, for example um, you can have multiple dimensions and analyze according accordingly so just play around uh, this tool and you will be able to make better sense of it eventually many of the options are not very important uh, you just need to know that it exists so here you can see what is the most referrals I get uh, here you can see from mobile Facebook and Facebook I have got lots of visitors then you have adverts if you are running adverts campaigns you will be able to get the adverts data right here inside analytics inside search engine optimization you will be able to connect Google webmaster tools and uh, uh, Google an uh, analytics so I have written an article about it you should read that how to integrate so this is what you have to uh, do to integrate Google webmasters and Google analytics so uh, read this article to learn how to integrate uh, both of them so if you have an AdWords account that also you should integrate here uh, then you have data about social traffic and then you have data about uh, uh, campaign traffic as well here so uh, uh, then I will uh, show you something about the behavior so behavior is where you will be able to see what are all the pages that people visit so once you go inside behavior you will be able to see what are all the top 10 pages that people visit in the past 30 days and uh, once you click on a specific URL you will be able to get more data uh, for that particular page so that is the beauty of Google Analytics it collects all the data and uh, whatever data that you need for a specific page then you will be able to get or if you want data for a specific demographic also you will be able to get for example if I want to check the medium for this particular page wh what is the different traffic sources so 89 came via referral 168 via organic and 91 is not tracked so that I am able to see inside site content I can see what are all the top landing pages what are all the top pages that people visit when they enter the website and what are all the top pages 
that people spend before they exit on the website so that i am able to see here again you can see there are a lot of errors a lot of uh, uh, other urls which does not make any sense but i can see that these two pages and the home page are the major pages uh, from uh, where people are spending time then i can see site speed data as well site speed data is very important uh, in terms of uh, your page should load very fast if you have to rank well in the search engines it is very important for seo then i can see page timings here as well so the load speed for each and every page then there are some suggestions uh, then you have uh, internal site search uh, we can do events this is a bit, a bit of an advanced topic uh, then you, you have content experiments where you can do split testing you have in page analytics where uh, google will show you where exactly uh, people are clicking on the page so it will load the page and uh, this will be more like page analytics so there is also a page analytics plugin uh, in google chrome which helps you find out uh, people click where on your site or all the links which are very popular so right now it looks like we have a problem with page analytics it asked me to install page analytics chrome extension so this is something you can try uh, no, i'm not covering it in this video and then uh, we have conversion tracking also goals e-commerce uh, multi-channel funnels and attribution again this is very advanced topics which i will cover separately in the analytics module so this video is all about just giving you an overview of analytics so that you can start using google analytics to understand how visitors behave on your site better and get comfortable with analytics so uh, there are lots of analytics tools we have kissmetrics we have crazy egg we have hotjar analytics and all these things will be covered in the analytics module in the future and as you know we are just in the beginning stage of learning digital marketing you have installed your website you have your site ready you have google webmaster tools account and you have analytics account now this is the next step where you are learning analytics right and there is nothing stopping you from going and learning it yourself like for example if you want to learn how to set up conversions inside google analytics all you need to do is just search on google or you can wait for my future lessons so if you have any questions ask it in the forum or you can mail it to me so thank you for watching this lesson and i will see you in the next lesson bye bye